friends, today we're going to talk about choices. I think as young people, you know, I'm sure that you might be having some um, questions about choices. There are many things in front of us and you'll be wondering whether I'm making the right choice or you'll be wondering how to go about it. So here we're going to discuss about choices and I'm very sure God will speak to us through this short sermon. And the topic for today's um, sermon is our relationship with God should dictate our choices. Our relationship with God should dictate our choices. So the choices, choices that we make in our life, it all depends how, uh, how much close, you know, you know, what is our relationship with the Lord? And it all depends on that, my friends. If we have a closer walk with the Lord, then the Holy Spirit will, will teach us how to make the right choices in our life. If we don't have a closer walk with the Lord, if our relationship with the Lord is, it, Lord is it's not good, then we might tend to make wrong choices in our life. So here I would like to encourage everyone to make the right choices in our life with the help of the Holy Spirit. So for that, we need what? Our relationship with the Lord should be really, really good. So only then we can make the right choices. So let's go ahead. Our relationship with God should dictate our choices. So the choices that we make, it all depends on how close we walk with the Lord. Our relationship with, the, with God, it matters. It's very, very important to make the right choices in our life. So let's check out what does it mean by the word dictate. Let's go and check out what is dictate. Some friends may not know this word dictate. It is to give orders or to tell someone exactly what they must do with total authority. Another through another dictionary, it says to influence someone, to influence something. Another dictionary, it says to urge, push, force, compel to do something. Another, another place we find, it says if someone dictates to someone else, they, they tell them what they should do or can do. So this is what this word dictate, it means. So you know, uh, the topic that we saw is what? It is our relationship with God should dictate our choices. So the relationship will tell us the, 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 the more close we walk with the Lord, it will lead us to make the right choices. So let's go and check out uh, the first thing. Our relationship with God should be our top priority in our entire life. If our relationship with God is very strong and very close, then the choices that we make in our life will be totally different from those who do not know Christ. Our choices will be very different from those who do not read his word regularly. I hope you are listening. Our choices will be very, very different from those who do not read his word regularly. So, as we read all these sentences, let's examine ourselves. Are we reading God's word regularly? Then we will be able to make the right, right choice in our life. Our choices will be very different from those who do not pray to him daily. So do we pray to our God daily? Our choices will be very different from those who do not love the Lord with all their heart, mind, soul and strength. Do we love our God with all our heart? Our choices will be really different from those who do not have the fear of the Lord in their lives. Do we have the fear of the Lord? Last month we saw about the fear of the Lord, how important it is in our life. Our relationship with God should dictate all the choices that we make in our life. I hope you are able to understand how important is our relationship with our God. We should have a closer walk with the Lord. We should read our God's word daily. We should pray to him daily. 
and we should have the fear of the Lord and we should love the Lord with all our heart and our mind and our soul and our strength. Then our relationship with God will dictate all the choices that we need to make in our life. Let's check out. The first thing, our relationship with God should dictate how we choose to spend our time. So how we choose to spend our time is so important. Time is so, so precious. So the Lord will teach us how we need to spend our time. Our relationship with God should dictate how we choose to spend our money. Money, we can't just, just, just spend it lavishly. It's so important. And, and the closer we walk with the Lord, the Lord will enable us to choose how we what we need to spend our money how we spend our energy our relationship with god should dictate what kind of friends we choose in our lives and as young people we can't choose any anyone as our friend it's so important the lord will teach us who is the right friend in our life who should be the right friend in our life so our relationship with god will teach us, will, should dictate what kind of friends we should choose in our lives. The fifth one, our relationship with God should dictate what kind of music and songs we choose to listen and sing. You know, many young people, we all love to listen to all kinds of music. Sometimes gospel music, Christian music might sound so boring. Sometimes we don't like to listen to any more of the gospel songs praise and worship songs so we we'll try to our friends might come might tell us why don't you listen to that particular pop singer song why don't you listen to this particular rock band this secular band so we might be tempted to make wrong choices and we will listen to wrong kind of music and the lyrics of that music will try to influence us so our relationship with God should dictate what kind of music and songs we should choose to listen and sing. Our relationship with God should dictate us to choose our lifestyle. We should not live, we should not follow the lifestyle like anybody, any of our friends, other friends, they do. They, they, they take. We need, we, our lifestyle is totally different because we don't belong to this world. Be, we belong to Jesus Christ, isn't it my friends? So our relationship with God should dictate us to choose our lifestyle. Our relationship with God should dictate us to choose our dresses we wear. So the more close we walk with the Lord and the Holy Spirit will, will teach us what should we do, what kind of dress we should wear. Even that is very important. Our relationship with God should dictate us to choose our outward appearance. We cannot, we cannot look like other people. We are, so, we are totally different. We belong to Jesus Christ. And our relationship with God should dictate us to choose our outward appearance. We cannot have wake all kinds of tattoos like other people. Because we don't belong to this world, we belong to Jesus. So the eighth point says, our relationship with God should dictate us how to choose our outward appearance. We are totally different, my friends. The ninth one, our relationship with God should dictate us to choose how we work in our workplace, how we study in our school, in our college and university, how we use our all are God-given opportunities. Many opportunities are there in front of us, but we should know how to use them wisely. Our relationship with God should dictate us with what satisfaction and gratitude we have our meals today. We should not grumble when the, when the meal is placed in front of us. We should have the satisfaction, the gratitude. And our relationship with God should dictate us how we choose to treat others, especially our parents, children, siblings, relatives, spouses, colleagues, and neighbors. It all depends the way we treat others. It all depends how close we walk with the Lord. Fourteenth one, our relationship with God should dictate us to choose what we allow our mind to think and dream. We cannot allow our mind to think all, all the nasty things. The, the more close we walk with the Lord, the Holy Spirit 
will teach us what we should think, what we should not think. It's so important to have a closer walk with the Lord. And what we allow our eyes to see and admire, it all depends how close we walk with the Lord. How we allow our ears to hear and listen, it's so important. Our relationship with God is so important. The what words we allow our mouth to say, speak and even sing. It will, it will, it will, uh, the relationship with God will allow us to choose what things we allow our hands to touch. Where we should go. And our relationship with God should dictate us to make a choice to share the gospel. So God has given us, Jesus gave us the commission, the, the, the greatest, the, he told us that we need to go and share the gospel. We should be an example to others and we should, we should be example you know, we should, our life should, our life should teach other people who, to whom we belong and who Jesus is, how true he is. So my friends, our relationship with God, it's so, so important. It will dictate us what to choose, how to choose each and everything. We saw 20 different points. I'll be sending all these things after the, 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 the session is over. You can go through it. I'm very sure God will speak to each and every one of us to make the right choice in our life. So the most important thing to make the right choices in our life is our relationship with God. If our relationship with God is not good, then we will not be able to make the right choices in our life. With our own strength, we cannot make right choices. With all the wisdom that we have, we cannot make the right choices, my friends. We need to have a closer walk with the Lord. And it's so important. Only then we will use our mind to think only the important things, that the things that are pleasing in God's sight. We will use our hands to, to touch the things that, that God is pleased with. You know, my friends, that, you know, when we were, and when I was young, I used to listen, uh, I used to see a slogan everywhere. It was very popular in those days. It says, what would Jesus do? If, if uh, you know, we should always think, if we are trying to do something, we should ask ourselves, what would Jesus do if Jesus is here in this place? What would he be doing? Am I doing what Jesus would do? So this should be our, always it should be in our mind. We are not like other young people. We have been bought with a price. God, God sent his only son to shed his blood for us. And Jesus has shed his precious blood to purchase us, to redeem us. And we are so special in God's sight. And he wants us to have a closer walk with him. And only then we will be able to make right choices in our life. Let me go and take you to a few verses from the Bible. We all know Joshua in 20, uh, Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. We read Joshua tells the Israelites, he says, choose this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So it's very important to make the right choice. Whom will we serve? Are we going to serve the world? Are we going to serve the material things? Are we going to serve the worldly things? Or are we going to serve the Lord? Lord has, has bought us with us with a precious, with a precious blood. So we need to serve him, my friends. It's not enough if we just call ourselves, I'm a Christian. We should have a closer walk with Christ only then we should say that I'm a Christian. And we should choose this day whom we will serve. And Joshua says, Israelites, you choose this day. Are you going to serve the, 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 the God of the, the, of, the, of the worldly things, of the other heathen people, of the Gentiles? Or are you going to serve the true and the living God? So this should be our question this day, my friends. And Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 we read, in the Bible we read, God says, I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore choose life that you and your offspring may live. So choices, if we have a closer walk with the Lord, the Lord will, choose, will, will, will teach us 
to choose life and not death. He will choose, he'll make us, he will teach us to choose blessing and not curse. So my friends, the closer we walk the look, we walk with the Lord, we will be able to make right choices. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14, Jesus he himself said, Listen carefully. He himself said, There are two roads in front of you. There are two gates in front of you. A one is a narrow gate. And the other one is a broad gate. It's so wide. A narrow gate, will it's so difficult to pass through the narrow gate. But the narrow gate will lead you to life. But the raw, broad gate, it's a gate where everyone will love to go. All the people of this world, the worldly people, people who do not know Christ will all love to go through that broad gate. Because there's so much of pleasure in that gate. And it is so easy to go through that gate. But you know what? At the end of the narrow gate in that road, you will find destruction. So what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 and 14. Enter. He's giving an advice. He's giving a command. Enter by the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and way is easy that leads to destruction. Do not take that wide gate. And those who enter by it are many. Many will go through that broad gate. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are very few. Do you want to be among those few who will choose the narrow gate and which will lead you to life, eternal life? Or do you want to go along with a big crowd to destruction? We need to choose the right thing. And our relationship with the Lord will dictate us to make the right choice. And we will choose the narrow gate. Psalm 25 verse 12 we read, Who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. See, the Lord himself will, 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 will teach you, will instruct you the way you need to choose. In front of us that there are many ways young people you don't know which way to choose but if you have a closer walk with the Lord the Lord himself will teach you will instruct you which way we need to choose in our life I have another four more verses listen carefully and with that we are going to stop so listen carefully to the next four verses and that is from Psalm 119 105 here we read, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. If you don't know which, which, uh, which path you should take, you should choose in your life, all you have to do is what? You need to go and read God's word. Because the psalmist says, Lord, your word is a lamp to my feet. You know, a lamp is so important to to. To, put our, to place our feet on the right ground, on the right place. Only then we'll be able to walk in the carefully, safely. A light is so important for our path. To choose the right path, we need to read God's word. Joshua 1, 1 and 8, chapter 1 and verse 8, we read, God says, um, he's, uh, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. See, we all love, we all, we all, all the young people, we all want to have success. We all, we all want to be prosperous in life. And to, to get success and prosperity, we need to choose the right way. And how we will we how we will be able to choose the right way? Only if we read the Bible. The book of the law is very, very important. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 12, 21, we read, And your eyes shall and your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it, when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. So the Lord will 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 speak to us in a still small voice. He will tell us gently, my dear son, my dear daughter, this is the right way. You will hear a word. That's what God says in Isaiah chapter 30. You will hear my word. You will hear my voice behind you when you are walking. And I will tell you and I will show you the right way in which you need to go. 
we have come to the end of our session my friends and i'm going to show you the last verse from the bible the last verse for today and that and that verse i want you to take it as a warning i want you to take it as a warning and this verse we read in proverbs chapter 1 verses 28 and 29 you know here there's a warning you know god might be using this zoom session today this afternoon at 3 o'clock till 3:30 he must be telling you something to have a closer he must be reminding you one more time to have a closer walk with him to make the right choice in our life we need to have a closer walk with him our relationship with god is so so important and that should dictate our choices that we make in our life but there's a warning if we are not going to listen to god's voice if we are going to neglect god's voice if you're going to think ah oh, i don't i don't need to listen to this sermon it's so boring if you neglect god's voice there is a warning here in proverbs chapter 1 verses 28 and 29 for me it was a big warning and i i learned a lot from this particular verse So I want all my young people who are listening to me to listen to read this verse along with me and it was a big warning for me and I want you also to take this warning so seriously you know wisdom in 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 proverbs is all about wisdom and knowledge and understanding and instruction isn't it the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom that's what we learned last month So here the wisdom is trying to tell us the lord is trying to tell us something you know what is he saying then they will call on me but i will not answer see god is you know we go to church many times we attend many sunday schools many youth meetings many services online services many thing we learn, we, we 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 you know god god uses all these things to teach us isn't it but if we don't take all these things seriously you know what the word of the lord says those people they have heard about me they know how important it is to have a closer walk with me but but they have rejected my voice and now you know what what is what warning we find here it says and they will call on me and i will not answer you know do you want to be in that kind of a situation when you are in trouble when you want to make the right choices and when you call upon the lord the lord will say i will not answer you and here we read the next line they will seek me diligently but they will not find me when it is time to seek the lord diligently if we miss those opportunities then when we want to make the right choices in a difficult moment you know what god will say how huh, those people they seek me diligently now but they will not find me because when i was going on calling them asking them to have a closer walk with me they they just neglected all my warnings all my offerings all my invitation and now when they come and seek me diligently i'm not they will not find me how terrible it will be my friends if god does not answer to our prayer if we if we we cannot find him when when we go and search for him if we don't find him how terrible it will be our life will be because you know why god is saying that they will i will not answer and they will not find me because they hated knowledge when there were so many people giving you warning to have a closer walk with the lord if we hate all this knowledge all this advice you know god says they hated knowledge and they did not choose the fear of the lord so if we do not choose the fear of the lord if we do not know the value of having a closer walk with the lord if we don't give importance to our relationship with god then these are the warnings my friends these are the things that will happen god will not answer we will not be able to find god when we seek him in our difficult moment so we you know why because when god gives us the opportunity to listen to his words 
to and when he invites you to have a closer walk with him if we neglect if we hate knowledge and if we do not choose the fear of the lord these are the miserable things that will happen to us young people so i'm very sure you have learnt how important is our relationship with god and that should dictate our choices the choices that we make in our lives the decisions the important decisions that we make in our lives it all depends if you want to make a right choice in your life have a closer walk with the lord if you do not want to make the right choices in your life just go along with the crowd the narrow gate is the the broad gate is there you can just go along with everyone listen to what kind of music whatever you want to listen you listen whatever you film you want to watch you can watch but if you want to have a good life a life that is pleasing in god's sight and if you want to make the right choices in life then you need to be very serious about your relationship with the lord so i'm very sure of my friends God has spoken to all of us this this afternoon time and God is prompting you people he is teaching the holy spirit is teaching you how important is is to read God's word daily and to pray to him daily and to live your life that is pleasing in God's sight let's close our eyes and let's look to the lord in prayer and let's close the session today Dear God we thank you and we praise you for this time that you that that we had in your presence Lord. Lord thank you for teaching us how important it is to have a closer walk with you Father. Our relationship with God should dictate us to make the right choices in our life Father. Lord Father we ask that you might enable us to have a closer walk with you. you might enable us to read your word daily and to pray and have a closer to have a great communion with you father lord lord we are i pray for all these young people who listen to your words this this afternoon time lord lord you have spoken to them continue to uh, speak to them through your holy spirit lord and help them to make the right choices they are so desperate they don't know what to do which one which course to take which uh, which particular film to watch which particular music to listen to lord each and everything lord you help them to make the right choices father help them to have a closer walk with you father and that will enable them to make the right choices in their life father and that will lead them to see prosperity and success in their life father lord we commit all these dear ones into your hands father we commit all their parents also into your hands father lord let this blood let all these young ones be a great example lord to many other young people in wherever you have wherever with whichever school or college or university you have placed them father lord help them to live for you forever and ever lord help them to understand how short is their life on this earth and how important is them for them to know that there's eternal life with you father lord we commit them into your hands give them the wisdom from above father help them to make the right choices in life father we ask all these in jesus precious name amen amen